What's up everybody, how you doing? From uh, Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, where Josh Allen, somewhere over there, probably not too far away, either has or soon will be signing a brand new contract extension. It's something we've talked about a lot over the last few months, certainly pretty much from the moment Josh Allen uh, started playing at an MVP level, and apparently it's done already. The report um, is a six-year extension. That actually part is official from the Bills. Um, the numbers from Adam Schefter, a six-year extension worth $258 million. Now, based on that Schefter report, I haven't seen anything else, um, you know, still pretty fresh. This news broke about 15, 20 minutes ago. Based on that report, my assumption is this Josh Allen deal is going to be structured a lot like what the Pat Mahomes deal is in Kansas City. Um, so what happened with Mahomes and what I'm assuming is going to happen with Josh Allen is that by signing the contract, Allen gets a big new signing bonus today. Basically, the bill is scratching him a check with a lot of zeros on it. He can put that in his bank account and spend away. Base salary-wise, Allen is still going to be playing under his rookie contract deal this year, which I think is like a 5 or $6 million deal. And then next year, he'll play under his fifth-year option contract, which is a lot more than that, like 12 or 13. I'm kind of guesstimating there. And then the big extension uh, salaries kick in in 2023. Now, the contract is six years, $258 million um, for the extension. $43 million per year puts him at number two in the league behind Patrick Mahomes only. The report is that Josh Allen's going to get $150 million guaranteed. That's actually more money guaranteed than any contract um, in NFL history so far. It's a little more. Mahomes got about $140 million, uh, million guaranteed. Now, look, I could tell you guaranteed right now, but what an agent says in guaranteed and, and what is actually guaranteed for any reason or guaranteed for injury, there's a, a number of details that go into it that determine guaranteed money. So is it more than Mahomes? Is it less than Mahomes? The, the straight answer to that is, frankly, nobody knows. Bottom line, though, the Bills got this done now, and they got it done early. And I think it benefits the team because you don't wait around and see what Lamar Jackson, who could get a new contract, what Baker Mayfield, who could get a new contract, signs for. And potentially, you know, if they if they sign for something that would be above Pat Mahomes, now you know you might have some trouble about where you put Josh Allen. By getting this done early, the Bills were able to set the market themselves, determine for themselves what they want to do. And if the structure is how I kind of described it to you, then it makes a lot of sense because this year and next year, the cap is a lot lower than people expected it to be because of the issues from COVID last year. So for the Bills to sign Josh Allen and be able to keep his base salaries on the lower side while the team and the league still deal with lower cap numbers, and then the hope and the belief is that when the new TV contract money kicks in about 2023, that the cap could skyrocket. And then by then, even if you're paying Josh Allen $43 million a year, um, and there's no reason to think that that first year contract or that first year base salary is going to be 43, you know, it could be 38, 39, 40, 45, something like that, then the, the deal is much more affordable from a cap point of view. So it certainly doesn't seem like the, the Bills are going to be overly hamstrung by this deal. It's not a killer. Um, but look, it is a quarterback contract. You know, Josh Allen is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 percent of the salary cap um, going forward for quite a few years. So this certainly makes a difference when it comes to how the Bills budget things, how much they can attack in free agency. It's going to limit them, but it's also not a contract that's going to kill them. And it's similar to what the Pat Mahomes deal is, too. The Bills have Josh Allen locked up through the 2028 season. It's got to be a good feeling. The only real other risk here, you know, I guess the two risks from the team point of view are, number one, they signed Josh Allen after one elite year. You know, if he doesn't have another elite year, if he turns out to be, you know, Matt Ryan, who had one MVP year and then really hasn't lived up to it since, then obviously you're overpaying your quarterback. And number two, you know, the projections on how this cap, how this contract will affect or fit into a cap, you know, three years from now, they're all kind of a projection. No one really knows. Um, and, you know, the way COVID's kind of kicking up again uh, here late in the summer, you know, you wonder if it's possible that maybe we don't have, you know, full stadiums at least all the way through this next season. Again, I'm not going to make any assumptions. My rule of thumb with COVID since the beginning is, you know, you, you assume anything past two weeks, you're going to make a fool of yourself. So we don't know, but that is certainly a risk for the team that they're, you know, if they think this amount of money fits into a cap in 2023, 24, you know, it is a projection, but that's how all these long-term contracts are going to be. You know, they're not going to sign Josh Allen to a two-year deal. They're going to want to give him long-term security. They're going to want long-term security for themselves. So end of the day, and I, I, certainly at first blush without seeing all the details, it feels like this contract is exactly what I thought it would be between the Bills and Josh Allen, a fair deal for both sides. Josh Allen got paid. 
Josh Allen didn't take an undermarket deal. He took an appropriate deal. Maybe a little undermarket, but it's a deal that will not hamstring this team going forward, but it will certainly be something the team has to work around. What do you guys got here? Oh, come on now. Let me be able to look at comments. There we go. Steve Dronzewski, I don't, don't uh, disagree with your excitement. You should be excitement. I saw Corey. I got one for you. Where are we here? Uh, here we go. Steve sent me the thing. Appreciate that. Corey, should they go after Xavier Howard? Would make the defensive backs great. I don't know if the Bills have um, the ammo to want to chase that kind of guy. I mean, unless you get him on the cheap. I mean, the other thing, too, I, I think really the moment you ask the Dolphins, they probably hang up on you because the Dolphins are chasing the Bills. Why help the Bills out in that way? Jeremy Blair, I like how the deal got done so Josh and the team can focus on football. And, yeah, that was going to happen anyway. You know, um, Jeremy, I mean, I don't think the Bills are going to carry this deal into the regular season, or at least not the negotiations for the deal. So, but, of course, getting it done early takes one, you know, like Forrest Gump said, one less thing to worry about. He didn't exactly say it like that. In fact, I absolutely botched that line. And usually I'm pretty good with the Forrest Gump imitations. So no more today. Uh, Rain Man, yeah, I like not having to match Baltimore-Cleveland. That's the advantage of getting it done now. Um, what else we got here? Man, comments are being annoying. Scroll up and stay up there. Corey, you know, Chandler Jones is a guy I would chase. You know, now that you bring him up, um, I would absolutely be up for Chandler Jones. The problem with him is that he's a $15 million cap hit and the Bills only have $10 million under the cap right now. He would have to agree to something restructured. And the Cardinals, the reason they want to trade him, or one of them, is because they're already having trouble getting him to agree to a new deal. So to bring a guy in that's scheduled to make $15 million and to get him to agree to a deal that you can fit in under your cap when you have a little less than $10 million left to spend. And remember, that the new Josh Allen contract may affect that too. So I think it's just going to be a hard contract to fit in. Scott Zietz, the deal is a six-year extension for $258 million. So it's $43 million per year. Now that's reported from Adam Schefter. And it seems like what's going to happen is Josh Allen's going to get a big signing bonus. Um, then he's going to play this year under his rookie contract base salary, play next year under his fifth-year option base salary, and then the extension kicks in after that. Solid deal. And these con these comments are scrolling in a weird way today. Yeah, Wow is right, Scott. Wow is right. But, you know, an appropriate deal for both the team and the quarterback, I think. So, all right, guys, i got a lot of work to do the next few hours. Catch me on News 8 pretty much all afternoon long. And uh, we'll have more up on the website later on today. But Josh Allen signed through to the 2028 20, season. Catch you later.